Let's say you see this kind of a simple question in your chemistry jam exam. How will you solve it? The question says, what amount of mercury would be liberated if the same quantity of electricity that liberates 0.65 grams of zinc is applied? This is a very simple question. And I know that many of you know that this question is from electrolysis. So let's solve it together. Remember that we are calculating the amount of mercury that will be liberated. You get me? So now we were given a reference, which is zinc. And they said that we need to calculate the amount of electricity that liberates 0.5 grams of zinc. Then we can now use that amount of electricity to get the amount of mercury. So the first thing to do in this thing is to write the equation of when zinc is being liberated from its ions. Ask it us to be organizing a free 15 days jam tutorial for science students. This free tutorial will be covering something like chemistry, biology, mathematics, physics, and use of English. And this tutorial is going to start from 1st of October to 15th of October. If you want to join this class, click the link on my bio and then select the option to join the free 15 days class. I'll see you in the class. Of when zinc is being liberated from its ions. You get, so what is the ion of zinc? Like the charge, the charge of zinc is always two plus. So this is it, let us write the reaction. Zinc two plus plus is going to gain two electrons. 2e minus to give us zinc zinc solid this is zinc aqueous right so according to faraday's law of electricity this charge of plus two has to be considered because this charge shows the amount of farad of electricity that is needed do you understand so always know that one farad one farad is always equal to nine six five zero zero coulombs one farad of electricity is all is equal to 96,500 coulombs of electricity. So now we have two here, two farads. So we are going to be having two f, two farad. Or you can just write two times nine six five zero zero because you can be given question in any format. So two farad liberates what? Two farad liberates one atom of zinc. You can see one atom of zinc. And one atom of zinc has a molar mass of what? 65 grams. Remember, the amount is in grams. So, it gave us 65 grams according to this equation. So, 2 times 96500 gave us 65 grams. Or 2 farads liberated 65 grams. So, in the question, we are asked that what amount of electricity liberates 0 0.65 grams of zinc? So, now we will now write 0 0.65 grams of zinc. Is going to be liberated by what amount of electricity that is what we don't know and that is what we want to calculate first before we calculate the amount of mercury so let us just represent this with x you understand so let us if we cross multiply if we cross multiply our x is going to multiply 65 and this 0 0.65 is going to multiply 2 times 96500 so 65 times x we are going to be having something like 65 x right it's going to be equal to then 2 times 96500 times 0.65 all of these things this times this times this is going to give us 125450 that was 125450 then we divide both sides by 65 we divide both sides by 65 then what are we going to have our x is going to be equal to what our x is going to be equal to 1900 30 coulombs of electricity so are you following me so now that we have gotten the quantity of electricity that will liberate 0 0.65 grams of zinc now we need to relate that amount of electricity to mercury what is the charge that is at the top of mercury charge of mercury is also plus two so the equation for mercury is you remember that mercury is hg hg2 plus plus is going to gain two electrons also then to give us mercury solid Give us this mercury aqueous. So this is also like two times nine six five zero zero coulombs. Gave us what? What is the molar mass of mercury? The molar mass of mercury is two hundred and one grams. Gave us two hundred and one grams, right? Remember that it is this charge. This two is from this charge. Two farad and one farad is nine six five zero zero coulombs. I'm always I like converting to coulombs always. So now remember that. 
we already know the amount of electricity. Our aim now is to calculate the amount of mercury. Are you following me? So now, we will now say that this, which is 1,930 coulombs, we produce what amount of mercury? So that's what we are going to do now. So 1,930 coulombs, we produce x grams of mercury. Are you following me? So now, we are going to cross multiply. This x is going to multiply this. We are going to cross multiply. So we are going to cross multiply. X times 2 times 96500. That is going to give us 193,000. So we have 193,000. 193,000 X is equal to what? 1,930 coulombs times 201 grams. 1,930 times 201. These are very, very simple calculations. You are going to be getting something like 387,930. So what's the next thing? You divide both sides by 193. Remember that our aim is to get x, right? Divide both sides by this. So 193,000. So our x is going to be what? Divided by 193,000. So our x is going to be 2.01 grams. So which is option A? So the correct answer is option A. So I hope this is so simple to understand. Don't forget to like and follow. I'll see you guys in the next one.